Concerning going to heaven, the passport to heaven is salvation, getting saved means getting your passport to heaven but the passport alone is not enough, just as we need a visa on earth, in the same way in heaven we need a visa. The visa for heaven is righteousness and holiness and obedience to the word of God, so do not just think that by simply having a passport, you can enter heaven, you cannot just enter heaven and come out as I did the five times Jesus took me to tour heaven, that is rare and it is only authorized by Jesus, and even when you go to heaven, you can only tour certain places or departments in heaven depending on your worthiness. There are even angels that have never visited another department because they have never been ordered to do so. After entering heaven with Jesus holding my hand for the first time in 2000, the four winds came to give both of us, the Lord Jesus and myself, a wind full of life. Entering into heaven from the gate is climbing a mountain, at the entrance, it is like a tarmac road as on earth but very clean and organized. Then after a short while, the road turns into pure gold. In heaven there are various departments and each angel is busy at their post, this means that there are some angels who have never entered into certain departments except when ordered by God, in heaven there is order, there is no confusion or commotion, angels do not just go or do whatever they please, in heaven, there is no disobedience, Jesus taught us to pray that our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This prayer is taken seriously in heaven, they believe in heaven that things on earth should be as they are in heaven, in heaven, they are captured by the teaching, as it was, so it is and so it shall be, Isaiah 14 24 the Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand, in heaven, things are the same as they have always been, but on earth. We are too disorganized and in disarray, kitchens in heaven, yes, there are kitchens in heaven, but the kitchen in heaven does not give out smoke like it is here on earth, they have cookers of a technology that we do not have here, everything is far superior to what we have here on earth, the kitchen is so big that billions and billions of angels are working in it at the speed of lightning, we see from the bible that food used to come from heaven for example, manna, the food that an angel brought to Elijah, etc. The angels in the kitchen are working frantically and excitedly in their department, there are billions of them working in preparation for the great banquet which is going to take place very very soon, they are excited, angelic departments, in heaven, what I saw is that there are departments, everything even if it is small, has a department, everything is done in order, nothing is disorderly. One important thing is that all angels are soldiers, they are all fighters, just as you see here on earth that there is army set aside there is also an angel army in heaven, it is the department of the army with differing ranks and weapons and everything an army has. These warrior angels dress differently from the rest, most of the angels dress in pure white, in heaven, there is no dust, however, all angels can fight, there is no angel that cannot fight. When the order comes, all of them can fight, heavenly weapons, there is an armory of weapons, there are all sorts of weapons in that store of weapons from stones to bigger weapons that human beings do not even have names for, the language of human beings is limited to name or explain some of the weapons in that store, these weapons are for use by the believers but unfortunately many never use them, some do not even know which weapon to ask for and how to use them. Many believers do not know that those weapons exist and that they are made for them. You can ask for any weapon to use in fighting the enemy but you must be able to use it and this depends on the level of prayer and walk with God. You must know how to use the weapon because you may ask for a weapon that the devil may take from and use against you. The devil also has weapons, so you need heavenly weapons to fight against him. When in battle, as you get a particular weapon, the devil also gets another. As the battle intensifies, more and superior weapons are needed, so the believer needs better weapons and must be able to use them so that he can overcome the devil. Angels serve human beings under orders from God, angels are under orders to serve human beings, especially the servants of God, they desire so much to come to earth and serve us but this depends on the level of the individual involved, it depends on the prayer of the person, 
Angels are the ones that bring weapons, angels are friends with human beings who are servants of God, they long to come and serve them, but the problem is that most believers do not know that angels want to be their friends, angels long to come to earth and serve the saints of God and go back, they long for it in the same way people long to visit good places here on earth such as going to America and coming back, spare parts for human bodies, in heaven. There are spare parts for everything on the human body from the least, when you hear people testifying that someone has been given a new uterus, it is true that those things happen. But most believers do not even know that those things exist, they do not ask for them, how do we get them? It is by prayer, working with angels, humans, the saints of God, are the ones who give angels orders by praying quoting and declaring the word but most departments in heaven are redundant and not being used because there are very few or no saints asking them to work for them, what the saints declare from the word is what the angels do as a command, but most saints do not know this, every word from the bible that you say as a believer on earth becomes a command of the angels in heaven, so do not just speak any idle word because you will be judged on the day of judgment, be careful not to just go about saying anything you may be causing confusion in the creation of God, mistreating others, God cares about every person, he loves every single individual that exists on earth, his heart is drawn especially to those that people mistreat here on earth such as the mad, sick, vulnerable people, there may be people here on earth that you can mistreat and even kill and no one on earth will even care to fight for them but those are the ones that God is so concerned about, his heart flows towards them. God is concerned about even the slightest form of oppression or mistreatment for example if we are passing each other and my sweater scratches you, such minor things in our eyes are concerns of God, I used to see people beat up mad persons here on earth, but in heaven, such a thing hurts God's heart, so we have to be careful about what we do to others even when walking on the street, do not mistreat others even in the slightest way, that is why you do not go about walking anyhow or anywhere you will be judged based on where your feet walked, in heaven, every footstep that you take is recorded and you will be asked about every footstep that you took, even when in the church, do not just go and move about without a purpose from the Lord Jesus, there are times when the Lord Jesus took me to visit some churches as they were praying but we saw things that were annoying, some people in the church were just pushing others, others were stepping on their fellows while in church, this annoyed the Lord and he asked, who told these people to come to church? There was an embarrassment that I encountered in heaven, every person is very precious in God's sight, but he does not discriminate people or show partiality or favoritism to anyone, every person holds the same level in the sight of God, before God. These earthly classes and levels are useless, they do not hold any significance, they are created by human societies here on earth. God cares about even those people that are seen as useless such as street dwellers, the mentally deranged, maimed, etc. His love for them is the same as his love for the well-off, even if we use the example of a parent, particularly a mother, who knows the labor pains, it cannot compare with God, I read in the papers a mother who murdered her four beautiful children. What a terrible incident, this should prove to us that there is nothing that we have here on earth even the love of a mother which we take to be the best love here on earth because a mother knows the pains of labor does not compare with God's love to us, God is therefore the most important in our lives, we should know that God is the only most important possession that we could ever have, he does not grade people into categories, kings and peasants are the same before his eyes, despite all the pomp here on earth, before God, we are all little children who are helpless. What made me ashamed is when I reached heaven and found that those who we think that they have sought God and they know him were the ones I saw grading people and categorizing them in order of importance, it is shameful to reach heaven and see that those who we thought to be knowing God are acting like that, when a person who is driving a big car, or is dressed in fine clothes, or a lecturer, or a highly positioned person comes to see the pastor, he will quickly find time for such a person but if it is the usher in church with a problem, the pastor may not have time or may just give the person very little time, it was so embarrassing to see such things taking place in the church, 
those whom we take to be great seekers and knowers of God here on earth, are at level zero, zero, in heaven when it comes to the knowledge of God, that is how little we know God here on earth, it is the little knowledge of God that makes even pastors categorize persons in the church, however, those who have reached level zero of seeking God have reached somewhere at least because there are those who do not even register a zero in heaven, it is because of the little knowledge of God that we categorize people according to importance, God does not like that because it is of the devil, the Lord does not want that in his house, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you do well, but if you have respect to persons, you commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors, at a certain time, we moved around with Jesus in churches and he was not happy with many people who were causing confusion in the churches, for example, we went to some churches where some people were just stepping on each other and the Lord was not happy with that. He would say, who brought these people to cause confusion and disturbance in my house? We would pass some people who would simply annoy us but there were also some who would make the Lord happy, that is why you should watch your every step, in heaven. Every single step you take is recorded, so you better watch your steps, language or words, thoughts, secrets, etc., all these things are recorded in detail and there is no detail that is left out, in heaven, every detail is taken care of, that is why God warns us that we should watch our steps in the house of the Lord, we need to watch every step and take our steps carefully, the Bible is true in what it says and we should take it as literally as it is. God also wants us to watch our words, that is why you should not swear, Jesus taught us that let out yes be yes and I know be no, that is enough and we should not add anything, God expects us to be careful and faithful in our words, wonders of heaven after walking past the four winds of heaven, they released upon us, the Lord and myself, these winds carry a good fragrance whose smell is so nice that you never find it on earth. I was walking with Jesus as a child walks with the parent, like a small child as I am, I could get my hand out of Jesus and run to go and take closer looks at the various things that I saw on the way, every time I went to get a closer look at the things that had fascinated me. The angels would take me back to Jesus, everything in heaven has life like a human who has life, everything can worship God, the grass in heaven knows when you are going to sit on it. It knows your thoughts even before you execute them and it cannot allow you to sit on it except there has been an order from the throne, if you insist it just moves away, as I moved with Jesus holding my hand, we reached the flowers, those flowers in heaven are so beautiful and you cannot find them here on earth, when we reached there they worshipped the Lord with music and beautiful voices coming from them, they are in rows and each type is alone there is no mixture, each type worships at its turn and the worship is very good, you almost want to remain there forever, there are also angels in charge of that department, I admired the flowers and wanted to pluck some of them but they ran away and did so playfully and I was like someone chasing after a playful calf, I ran after them for long but could not catch up with them and when the angels realized that I was tired, they carried me back to Jesus, he was still waiting for me. Then we continued walking, we continued moving and reached a section where there are stones in small sizes and different shapes, they were worshipping God in very nice music which you can never even try to copy here on earth, the voices are so beautiful and far above those of people on earth that you cannot even begin to compare, after that we found trees and they were also worshipping the Lord, they had a good voice coming out of them and worshipping. They would worship and bow down until they disappear. Imagine very big trees bowing down to worship until they disappear. The best thing that happened to me was that I was able to see the Father, the Holy Spirit and the Son, they are real and I would encourage you to strive very hard and reach heaven so that you can see these things for yourself. I also talked with Abraham, Enoch, and others, there are those who ask me whether I found people in heaven, yes, I did, for example, I talked to a Mutara woman, a Ugandan tribe who had lived in Uganda to old age, if it wasn't for having not taken her details to heart, I would have told you details about her, name, children, birthplace, etc., I do not speak Mutara but I could understand her clearly and I spoke Lugandu and she could understand me clearly, in heaven, you are able to speak any language, 
but you can also speak any language and the other person will understand you. I also talked with an Indian, a Chinese, and others, in heaven, you also do not need to first research in order to know things about others, when you meet someone, you just know everything about them instantly. You instantly know where they were born and everything that they lived through, in heaven, they do not have time to waste, warrior angels there are departments in heaven but we shall come to that in the future. In heaven the angels that fight do so in phases depending on the nature and scale of the war that is taking place. These angels have different ranks and they fight according to those ranks. 